Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Medizy, and today I will be discussing AWS Certification Roadmap of 2020, and hopefully it will be the same for 2021 as well. So uh, I often seen that people are confused what certification to be taken or what certification is uh, necessary for him to go through so in order to understand aws certification i will be quickly discussing all the available certification today so as of now aws has four types of certification one is uh, fundamental and second one is associate then professional and the specialty so let's begin from the fundamental one so in fundamental aws has cloud practitioner and the cloud practitioner certification is uh, the basic certification that aws provides so the expectation is, is like candidate will have around three to six months of experience in public code specific to aws and the difficulty level is easy and the exam cost is 100 usd this is uh, except the tax that include after inclusion of the task it would be around 118 usd and then the time for this exam is 90 minutes so this is the quickest exam and the passing score is 70 which is also less so uh, people those who are from non it background or those who are in higher level uh, maybe manager or senior manager of the organization they just want to have a certification to validate you know their knowledge uh, bit in cloud and then uh, in most of the project uh, client are also asking a certification at least from the higher management itself so you can do a fundamental certification so cloud practitioner certification will take around two to three months preparation if you don't know even cloud still you can crack and the most of the question are in cloud practitioner are one liner and the answers are one liner so you you uh, just remembering few service and few hands-on will be more than sufficient so uh, this is highly recommended for a new uh, people to test their fundamental understanding in cloud by cloud practitioner so this is about the cloud practitioner now the coming to the associate now the solution and the associate level the first one is aws solution architect associate level so this is probably the most taken certification is aws so the difficulty level is moderate you should have around uh, six to one month of experience hands-on experience in aws cloud but this will not be validated this is the recommended by aws and the exams cost is 150 usd uh, after inclusion of tax it would be around 27 dollar extra and then the passing score is 72 percent which is 720 and the uh, exam times time is uh, 130 minutes and this exam current ex exam version is sac co2 and SWCO2 and the exam is pretty difficult so you need to have concrete five to six months of preparation in order to crack the examination also you need to do hands-on you need to read white paper you need to read faqs document and you need to go through the case studies as well so and uh, one more thing you need not to have to pass the cloud practitioner in, in, in order to sit for the solution architect you can directly uh, sit for the solution architect and this is also recommended for people who are from development background or networking background uh, want to validate their knowledge in cloud and have some around six to six or seven months of hands-on experience i would rather prefer the solution architect associate level because this uh, this values most in the market okay so this is all about the uh, solution architect now going going next uh, is a developer so developer certification the difficult level is moderate but i would say that this from the solution ar ar architect prospect that question of developer it's is difficult because they will ask code some of the code configurations and other stuff they will be asking in that particular exam so also same thing you need at least com concrete four to five months of preparation apart from your six to one month of hands-on experience uh, these these uh, exams are pretty similar but in developer they will be more focusing on the integration of aws in your uh, java.net or python application so cli commands and uh, and some like you know yml some json uh, 
uh, code they will be asking the policy document they will be asking but in solution architect you you, you they are they have an expectation of how you whether you can create a small architecture in aws what are the you know, cost effective resilient architecture that you can suggest to your client so expectation is different so question wise it will be different but i think the developer one is slightly difficult to the solution as compared to the solution architect and now moving to sysops admin so this is uh, this is again uh, those who are from operational uh, and admin and maybe from uh, networking background they can do a special like little bit different one uh, you know they can go for sysops admins and expectation and other stuffs are same then we'll be moving on to professional level now professional level certification is most difficult certification so the expectation is again you have two to five years experience in aws as a solution architect and uh, the passing score is 750 and it is for three hours exam and you need to spend around 300 usd to take the exam again uh, the next one is devops engineer which is again professional level and all others parameters are seven uh, same and the difficulty level is also high this is a difficult exam and devops is basically those who are already having devops pipeline experience creating ci cd pipelines in jenkins and other environment they can they can go for devops but you need to prepare uh, specifically for devops you need to you need to be a master of their devops pipeline and then they have five new exams so all are the six new exams all are specialty so the the first one is alexa skill builder and um, the parameters is it is difficult exam and again you need to spend 300 usd 750 is the pass mark 180 minutes the time the expectation is you have uh, knowledge of building Alexa skill for at least for six months. So this is a uh, specialty one and the security those who wants to uh, uh, from networking background people those who wants to validate uh, their specialty certification they can take the certification and again other uh, uh, thing are same only the exam is 170 minutes and it's not 180 minutes and the expectation is you should have a knowledge of AWS at least for two years in terms of security then machine learning is pretty new to uh, AWS and the expectation is you should have two years experience in machine learning in terms of AWS and then advanced networking advanced networking uh, and the difficulty level is also difficult and then it is for 170 minutes 750 minutes the pass mark so the expectation is you should have cp uh, like you know you should have uh, cp means you should have a cloud practitioner certification and you should have either da like developer associate or as is associate uh, csop uh, uh, admin any of the certification you need but this is not mandatory but the, the expectation is you should have at least done one of the certification earlier in order to sit for the professional exam uh, is a specialty exam okay then we have data analytics and uh, database uh, so all the expectation are same it's around uh, for data analytics you should have five years experience in data analytics two years experience on aws data analytics and for the dba the expectation is five years experience in dba and two years experiences aws database services you need to know rds and other stuff very uh, proficiently so that's all about the exam and uh, there is no dependency but people going not going for the directly professional exam normally they would take the either cloud practitioner or the solution architect then they go for the solution is professional exams so going to the directly professional exam uh, is difficult because you may not have aware the uh, exam practices and exam things so better to at least uh, you know sit for any of the exam then going for the specialty or professional exam but as of now this is not mandatory even you can see directly sit any of the uh, specialty or professional exam directly okay so that's all about the roadmap now uh, quickly uh, you can you can visit the link to you know get 
some more uh, information regarding the certification this is the aws uh, aws amazon link so um, that's all i have two uh, things to share this is the bonus tips for you so if you need few extra time and if you are non-native speaker you can book uh, the exam uh, by calling the pearson 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 or any other vendors so there you can ask for extra 30 minutes so for almost for all exam they will provide extra 30 minutes for non-native english speakers so that is one thing and one bonus tips for you and the next bonus tip if you if you pass any of the exam and for the next exam you will get 50 percent flat discount so suppose uh, that's a trick basically suppose you taken the exam of 100 usd and you are going for the any 300 usd exam so in the next exam you need you not to spend entire 300 usd you just need to spend 150 and the tax so uh, so if you are going for a specialty or professional level it is recommended to take at least uh, fundamental or associate level exam it not only helps you to understand aws and their exam process but also it will save you some of the amount in the next exam so that's all about the roadmap so i will just post this link pdf link down my video description so if you want to download it you can download it and do subscribe my channel so that i can post more videos thank you very much